Your body is made up of 30 trillion human cells, the cells that make up you, but you're actually outnumbered by even more bacterial cells. And these little bacterial critters that are inside you are unique to you. They're kind of like your own little bacterial fingerprint. And you can learn a lot about how these bacteria affect your life by examining your poop. We found a company that actually examines your feces to tell you your gut health. And then we're gonna take probiotics for 30 days and see if it can have an impact on our microbiome. A little thing to put on the toilet, to poop on, to scoop a sample from, and then we're good to go. The way that they make the, look, the shit look in this, it's like perfectly swirled, like a soft ice cream cone. I just don't know if that's gonna happen for me, but we'll find out. Gonna poop on that, but I'm not gonna show you that part. And it's gonna make its way into this tube. I'd like to think that we've been in a relationship for long enough that I could shit in front of you, but I don't know, I'm a little nervous. I just don't think I'm ready to take that step yet. <laughs> And based on my farts, it is definitely a biohazard. We pooped in all the appropriate places. Good on us. It was a really challenging feat and we did a great job. We also made some of our other friends do it as well to make our sample size bigger. And we wanted to talk to everyone and find out if off the bat anyone had some sort of digestion issues or concerns they might be thinking about with the bacteria in their body. I did have IBS. It's a lot better now, thankfully. I don't know that other people have this same problem, but I feel that I have a low tolerance for spiciness both on the way in and on the way out. Bloated. I feel bloated a lot. Not a lot, sometimes. <laughs> like I have a very like sensitive stomach a bit or whatever. Like it's not like necessarily upset, but it, like it sings often. I don't really have digestive issues. Just like if I eat Popeyes. <laughs> like yeah, I think my digestion's pretty normal. The first thing we wanted to analyze with our poop samples was how diverse our microbiome was. And the way that you look at diversity in someone's microbiome is with something called the Simpsons Diversity Index. With zero being no diversity, and that's bad, and one being infinite diversity, which is actually impossible, but 0 0.99, for example, would be a very diverse good number. So looking at the Simpsons diversity index for your first sample, the score that you got was 0 0.72, 0 0.75. <laughs> 0 0.82, 0 0.85, 0 0.85, 0 0.88. You are above average. No! <laughs> you mentioned that you did have IBS, which could be why your score is a little bit lower. Your diet is a huge one. You diet throughout your entire life, not just the day <laughs> right. that you took your samples. It's okay. really important. I need to eat better, <laughs> and I just don't. So I'm not totally surprised, to be honest. I know this is a very small sample size, but it was really interesting to see that the people who had the most digestion issues also had the least diversity within their gut. Someone like like Mitch, who had a lower diversity score, not all hope is lost. He can feed that good bacteria with prebiotic food. And prebiotic food is, I hate to say it, it's things like vegetables, leafy greens, artichokes, garlics, some things are delicious. The more you eat, the more your bacteria eat, and the more diverse your gut can become. To snack on fruits, like at my desk during the day, but then on the weekends, I think I go like a little crazy and then I eat McDonald's. The veggies, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lunch, I'll do like, a protein and a vegetable and a grain. Same thing for dinner. In general, you have a pretty healthy microbiome. This can continue to nourish those bacteria by eating lots of prebiotic foods like garlic, onion. I eat so much garlic. There you go. Does that mean I'm gonna live longer? Not necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> Another way to also help increase your microbiome diversity is to take probiotics or eat probiotic food like yogurts or kefir. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but I think it is. So the next thing we did is we actually took probiotics for 30 days and then we analyzed our poop again. Yes, we pooped in a cup twice. We are champions. And we wanted to see if those probiotics actually affected our microbiome and the diversity in our gut. Initially, we saw that your diversity index was 0.72. In your mm. second sample after taking probiotics, it was 0.72. 0.73. So oh. pretty much the same. Okay, so then that means that the probiotics didn't have a major impact on like increasing the diversity or? Without looking at the exact species that increased and decreased, it's difficult to see if the right. probiotics really had an impact. Mm -hmm. However, there's so many other factors as right. well. So your mm -hmm. diet throughout that time period, even your amount of sleep and exercise that you get impacts your microbiome diversity. So it was 0 0.8. There was a little bit of a dip there, but there's lots of factors that can affect your microbiome diversity. The sample might have been early in the week. Yeah. Maybe that weekend was a rough weekend. A rough weekend. I don't know. In your second sample, your score was 0 0.91. Whoa! 0 0.77. Oh no. So there was a little, a pretty, quite a significant drop in your two samples. You want to say it was Popeyes. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. I was on like a two week bender. So oh that... no, that definitely impacted. But I remembered to take the pills. What probably happened is if you weren't eating very well over that time period, those, probi those probiotics probably 
probably weren't doing much for yeah. you. They were probably just going in and out the other end. Yeah. Your second sample was 0.86. Okay, so, so it went down a bit. It's slightly lower. Maybe it's because I ate pizza the whole time and didn't eat anything but pizza. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> There's no necessary dose for probiotics. Let's say you're taking three times the amount of probiotics, but you're not eating well, then the bacteria aren't going to colonize your gut anyway. You have to get right. You gotta get it right. Yeah. We have now learned that you can't just go to the grocery store or pharmacy and buy probiotics and then expect that your microbiome is just gonna be all good. That's because many things affect your microbiome. For example, your health, your sleep, how much alcohol you take, clearly how much Popeyes you're eating, clearly, or things like whether or not you were vaginally birthed or C-section birthed. It doesn't mean that probiotics are useless. What it means is that if you're taking probiotics, you also need to be eating healthy, that prebiotic food that's gonna feed the bacteria, and just remembering that there's all different types of factors that will be affecting your microbiome. So millennials, you can't just drink a kombucha and assume everything's gonna be okay. There are way too many factors at play here, and just get some good sleep, stop drinking booze, and exercise. This is a new topic in science and we're still learning a lot. But what's important to know is that the trillions of bacteria within you do affect your brain and your body. In fact, there are toilets that microbiologists are designing so that they will scan your poop and send to your smartphone an analysis of your feces in order to tell you what to eat, how to be active, and how to keep your microbiome healthy. In the future, after you take a dump or a poo poo, instead of just flushing it away and not looking at it and pretending it didn't happen, we're gonna be wanting to dissect it get in there and find out more about our bodies. Okay, I'm done talking about poop. We can move on now. Thank you so much for watching. The company that helped us analyze our samples was UBio Discovery. Go check them out in the description if you want to do it yourself. It's been a good day because we were able to contribute to scientific research. That's something we wish we could do every day. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and we will see you next week for a new animated video. Peace.